Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW, guys. 5 Series Generation E60, E61. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the telematics fuse, also known as TCU fuses, are located. Multiple fuses in multiple fuse boxes. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, at a good price, quick shipping. Uh, that way, you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and realize all that, guys, will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stand till the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have bmw 60 61 that generation 5 series we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay why to save you time and money let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse blows out what do you need to do okay it takes forever to find where it's located it's so complicated you may have even multiple fuses and all you have to do come to our channel search for it and you'll be able to find that video watch it and in less than two minutes you replace the fuses you're back on the road something else guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions why we do that because our mission to shop is to save you money guys we have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money now uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and if you need to buy cheap fuses relays anything for your BMW links will be shared as well so let's continue now so the TCU fuses, also known as telematics fuses, where they're located guys. Okay, let's explain that now on a 2008 BMW 5 series. Uh, now you guys have three different fuse boxes, today we're working two of them. Uh, the first fuse box, okay, uh, if you kind of uh, come right here, open the uh, glove box. In the glove box on the back side, if you empty the whole content of your glove box, probably it's full by now. You uh, uh, remove that cover guys by turning those turning uh, knobs 90 degrees, one on the left, one on the right side and behind it you'll get to uh, actually guys a fuse box, okay, that will uh, look just like this one, okay, right here. Now, before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So which fuses we will need to check here, you have fuse 1 through 9 in that row of fuses, here it's 10 and up. Uh, in that row of fuses that's 10 and up, underneath every even number fuse you have a number, for instance 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Uh, the fuse that you need to check is fuse number 37 guys, fuse number 37 you need to check, then you need to open the trunk on your BMW 5 series, open the trunk right here, remove that cover on the side, once you pull it out you see a fuse box, that fuse box may look like this one, this is the uh, uh, actually the uh, 
later models this is the earlier model so that's for the pre-facelifted version here we'll need to check two fuses specifically we're talking about okay let me zoom in a little bit you can see the fuse numbers listed under the fuses one of them is fuse number 80 and then you need to check fuse number 89 if you have the facelifted version you will need to check fuse number 80 will be right here and fuse number 89 right there check all these fuses hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time